I talk a lot about how damage tells a story. So I kind of want to look at this one. I kind of want to look around, show you what I'm seeing here. So first things first, we've got a missing shingle. Now it's missing from here. Doesn't look like it went under, but it might have. It might have been cut flush. And so there's no dirt there. So either this happened a long time ago or it happened suddenly, but this is not black. So check the colors of the next one's up. That's a lot darker. So that's been exposed to the sun for quite a bit. And that looks... Now what's interesting is over here it's torn in a left to right motion. And then once it reaches here, see that's what it would look like if it's exposed to the sun. Once it reaches here, it's still stuck. So it was then torn up. And you can tell from the kind of the beveled edge there that this was torn upward. Now you reach here and you can see that this part was scraped. So this part was pried apart likely using either then this was pried apart using a pry bar you can see the tooth in it and so nails are still in place it's torn cleanly around the nail so figure out where the adhesive goes the adhesive goes next to the nail there and so from here this looks like it's solid like flapping in the wind but what doesn't make sense to me is from here it's then torn upward and you can see how suddenly it tears to the left and you know all of these are down tight except this one and that one too that was cut open with a pry you can see where the teeth dragged dirt into it too so that's a scrape and so looks to me like they tried to lift this up then tried to pull out that nail here. When they realized they couldn't, they just tore it straight up. And that's what the shingle tear pattern is telling me too. So what this is telling me is maybe the shingle was already partially torn. It was starting to tear here. Um, maybe there was a thermal crack there that kind of aided it. Uh, look at that tear too. It's a nice little tear downward. Again, that's from... So that one is from somebody trying to move along here. And you'll note how this nail's been torn out. So that is from somebody attempting to extract. Now the question is, the way this is torn out, there's two major possibilities. Number one, they were attempting to extract what was left of the shingle to replace it. But then why is there no repair done? The other thing is, is that these nails aren't rusty but they're oxidized and so what I suspect is, is that there was a partially loose shingle partially torn they tore it out the rest of the way to make it but there's all kinds of signs of claw marks all along there if you look close and so that's how wind can tell or that's how the uh, so called wind damage can actually tell the story of manufacturer damage. Now I'm not going to go into great detail about this one because it's an active case, but basically this is going to arbitration because of damages like these and so-called damages to the remainder.